today i'll show you how to install and configure ftp server in your linux machine the first step is you need to check if the rpm is present or not so let's check if the rpm is present so we don't have the rpm installed so let's download you can download and install the rpm using just two commands so i'm already having the rpm downloaded from the internet so I'll down install this package so that's the command to install an rpm package so it's already it's installed now we have to edit the vsftpd conf file which is present in slash etc slash vsftpd so let's edit the file we have to uncomment two lines first is local enable is equals to yes we have to uncomment this to allow local users to login into using ftp and if we want something to someone to upload the files or write the files into our ftp so we have to remove this comment also we'll save this file now we, ne we need to edit the ftp users and the user.list file in the vsftpd folder and remove the particular user which you want to access suppose if you want to access root ftp from the root user so you have to un you have to comment this root or either remove the root so it is written here user that are not allowed via ftp so i will remove root here because i am going to login it from the root user so let's edit the other file also you can also comment this line or remove it and i will comment here so that's done now we have to start the ftp service by typing service vs ftpd start now if you want to add the vs ftpd service or uh, to start at the startup so there is one another command that is chk config space vsftpd space on so this will start your service when the system starts so if you are having se linux enabled in your system so you can there you cannot access your home directories se linux will deny it so you have to enable this se linux boolean ftp home directory so my se linux is already disabled so there is no need to enable the boolean now we'll try to connect from any ftp client i am using win ftp you can any you can use anything ftp server or an ftp client so i'll select ftp type in the ip address and the root user which we are going to log in the password for the root user and hit enter so that's it now you are connected to your remote machine through an ftp now you can transfer files upload files download files anything you can see here root at the rate of your ip address you can change the directories do whatever you want so that finishes our vs ftpd configuration for more details please view the description of my video on the youtube and thanks for watching for more videos you can log on to www.youtube.com/technology layer that's my youtube channel thanks for watching bye bye